what would be us without unexpected things happening? What's up guys? Happy Saturday or whatever day it is when you see this video. Floriana is napping and I have to use this time to rush to Target because we spontaneously decided to go to Big Bear Lake today and it's snowing there. So we don't have any clothes for snow. I booked an Airbnb five minutes ago and I saw they have like a sports shop right next to the Airbnb but I'm not sure if we will find something and instead of just believing that we'll find something I want to make sure I checked Target first so It's two hours later. We haven't made it to Big Bear yet. It takes one hour and 50 minutes to get there. So we drove up, then the snowstorm started somewhere near. So they put up a sign saying we need wheel trains to go up. It's too risky to go like that. So we had to drive back, get some wheel trains uh, at Walmart and it's the nearest Walmart from Big Bear Lake. So we're lucky. Um, it only took us like five minutes driving back. So that was good. Uh, a lot of things happening. That's usually our thing. Nothing is easy. Everything has to come with stones in our way, but vibes, good vibes, we breathe. Yeah, it's already getting dark, so that's why you barely can see my face. I'm like two-faced, you only see one side of it. No, I'm good. I can do this like blindfolded. Thank you. <laughs> We just arrived, we got our key, we are at Denny's, we need to eat, it's 8.14, so it's very late already. It's like almost three hours and a half later. Two hours, two hours later from the time we should arrive. We thought we could still do stuff around here, but no. Gloriana should be sleeping in five minutes. We have to eat. We have to eat, she yeah. has to take her bath, we have to get her stuff into the house and get her crib ready. Yeah, yeah. but tomorrow will be fun. Let's eat and go to the Airbnb and get things ready. Good morning guys, happy Sunday. It's almost seven. I woke up at six. Fabian woke up too right away because it's so much light in our room and we're definitely not used to having that much light. I'm hungry and I need a warm cup of coffee. It's so cold outside. That's your outfit of the day. I bought these jeans yesterday at Target. Uh, I love the fit. Like they are a bit loose, but I prefer it like that. I'm not used to having those kind of mom jeans, but I actually really love them. I'll give you a quick run through the house and then we'll leave for breakfast. So that's the bathroom. It's small, but it, it's very cozy. So. to this that's where Gloriana's sleeping we put up her blackout on the window so she could sleep better um, that's why it's so dark inside 
then this is where Joanna sleeps. She loves to be up there. Um, they have little cute um, toys and books for kids. That's amazing. Really liked it. Go to the hall. There's another bathroom. So living room. I'll show you the backyard later on when we try out the jacuzzi. That will be nice. I have about 30 <laughs> emails to answer and instead of using Floriana's nap time to work as I usually do, um, we decided on building our snowman here um, and decided on coming into the jacuzzi since we didn't have a jacuzzi at home. So since we're heading out in a couple hours and we will be in the snow the whole afternoon, we had to get some winter clothes some snow clothes but some stores didn't have like things for Gloriana other stores didn't have things for us so we rushed to one another we grabbed breakfast we got coffee yeah so the whole morning was spent doing that kind of stuff <laughs> It's 5 p.m. guys. I didn't pick up the camera since past lunch. You know why? Because we checked the hours, like the opening hours of the place we wanted to go, like riding the tubes. But when we arrived, they told us today they closed earlier. They had to do anything because of the snow. So nothing was available what we could do with Gloriana only with Joanna. So we decided on um, looking for a place where we could ride at least those like snow plates, but we couldn't find any place that was open. There are a lot of places where we could do it, but they have fences up now, private properties and stuff. So we went to the lake. Now we're just closing off the day outside. We go home and tomorrow we go on the dive. Oh. Oh, baby. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, oh. She needs mommy. She needs mommy. It's our last day or our last morning uh, at Big Bear. We packed already our stuff. I woke up at six and I did some emails. I couldn't finish all because we got even more in the evening and at night. But yeah, I, get a, I did a good part of it. The kids are already ready. We are just finished packing up and putting uh, things in the car. And then we are heading out getting Starbucks coffee. We didn't have a coffee yet. We just ate some cereal. We bought yesterday at Fonz. Yeah, and then we had out finally going riding with the tubes. That's what we came for, basically. That's it. So let's go. Grab our Starbucks. <laughs> I always got the best moments on camera. 
So we have our Starbucks. We're heading to the mountain thing where you can to. Okay, thank you. Where we can to ride. Um, it's not open yet, but it says it opens at 10. So yeah, we are on our way to that. It takes like five minutes. And then we'll probably stay there for two hours or so, get lunch, and then we're at home. A few moments later. What would be us without unexpected things happening? We're not at the tube trail thing because Floriana is not allowed to be near any things they have there. So she can tube ride. Um, she's not allowed to be on the snow, like on all of the property. She had to be at the picnic place with me. Yeah, so that wouldn't make sense at all for us to like stay there just for Joanna and Fabio, uh, like go on the ride. As it's our last like two hours, we decided on no, we leave. So the girl there just recommended us to go to the Aspen picnic park. So we're here. We're taking our slides and go play. Those are the kind of things we should have looked up earlier, but to be honest, we didn't expect things to happen like that or like Gloriana not to be allowed going on anything. That barely happens anywhere. Let's have some fun and we'll talk later. Coca, 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 titi! Okay, look, look, titi! Okay, guys, we're heading down Big Bear Lake. It's freezing cold. We just stopped to catch some photos of this beautiful view. Yeah, Gloriana is more like she catched more a cold than we thought, so she's almost napping in the car. Let's hope she naps, otherwise I'll put her down at home. That would be even better. So let's see if we can make it on time before she falls asleep. Let's go down and then we dive deep into the tips we have for you to be or to do better than we did. Hey guys, it's obviously not the next day or even the day when we came back from Big Bear Lake. We all catched a terrible cold. Um, it started with Floriana. I was like on mom duty for a couple of days, 24 hours, seven probably. I wasn't able to pick up the camera or do anything work related. Like she needed her mom to be on her all the time. Uh, yeah, and then the rest of us catch the cold. That's why I wanted to wait it out till I'm feeling better to finish up this video for you. So as I told you guys, I wrote down five tips I would give you if you plan on going to Big Bear Lake or to wherever place, like doing a weekend trip with your kids, especially if it's like a weekend trip. We did it very spontaneously and honestly that's something I wouldn't do that way again like if it's something like going to the zoo or going to a different park or going to like something you do in a day I think it's cool to be spontaneous even if you have kids I mean you want to maintain the freshness and this vibe spontaneous trips give you but like doing weekend trips on like four day trips whatever days I think it has to be way more prepared if you're like single or just a couple, it's very different than having kids and thinking about all around it, especially if you have like young kids like we do. Gloriana's 18 months old, so she still needs a lot of things that we have to think about a lot to bring with us in order to do those kind of trips, like having a crib, pack and play, which we don't have and we now need for our next trip we're going on. And a lot of other stuff so that's why i thought i could provide you with good value good information and like things we regret we didn't do before uh, 
which would be good you guys to do before all of it. Let's jump right into. I just wrote it down on my notes just because I know my mind. I know my brain. I would totally forget it with my mom brain. So let's jump right into it before I babble too much around here. So the first thing I would recommend you guys is get your equipment ahead. It can be things we needed like snow stuff. Uh, we bought like this little board you can put underneath your butt. We didn't bought snowboards or ski. I mean, you can rent those kind of things, but the basic needs like boots and hats and gloves, like mittens. We didn't have those kind of things with us. It's almost summer here in California. But the point is, if you go to the beach, think about if you have beach towels, think about if you have a choice for your kids to actually play in the sand. I mean, if you go to the beach, you want them to play in the sand and in the water. Do you need sunscreen? Do you need hats? Do you need an umbrella for the sun? Like you need those kind of things. And obviously in some places you can find them right by the beach, but most of the time they are way more expensive and you don't want to stress about that on your first day you want to go to the beach. That happened to us. We went to Big Bear Lake. It was already really late when we came because of the snowstorm we experienced on Saturday. Um, so we had to buy everything the first actual day we were, we were there and that was Sunday morning and we lost our whole Sunday morning for it. Like we couldn't actually enjoy already the snow and the good weather because we had to buy first the equipment. So that's a good point and I think that's important to think about first of all. Like if you already know you want to visit a place and you know you will have those free days, even if it's like two or three days before, so it's still kind of spontaneous, you still have time to get those things. So do it before you have to rush on the actual day. If you already know you want to visit some kind of places, like if you go to a city and you want to visit museums and theaters and zoos and whatever you can find check the opening hours before and the closing hours check if they have special seasons um, special hours during those seasons and what's going on the weekend or the week you're going to because we checked the opening hours of this the tube ride places and like the ski and snowboard places we wanted to go but first of all we forgot one place which was like the coolest and we just saw it when we came down the mountain that was snow valley and it was half an hour from the place we rented and that was actually the place where would have been the best place for us so we lost this opportunity check the hours check the opening days and you're set as third i want to recommend you guys to book a place ahead like a place you want to stay at i know there are a lot of last minute options but honestly especially when you have kids you don't want to rush into a place which doesn't fit your needs think about the things you want to have the place you're staying at if a hotel is enough for you like a hotel room that's totally fine but if you need a suite because of your kids you have to check in advance if they have suites available in addition to that that's my fourth tip is check the surroundings like what kind of restaurants do you have around do you have parks around if you take your dog with you, are there dog parks or at least places where you can walk your dog? And I think restaurants especially is one of the most important things if you're not thinking about cooking or if you're not staying in a hotel, like in an Airbnb. Most of the time you don't have the service of somebody bringing you food or ordering food. So that's something I think it's also very important because you just want your trip to be enjoyable. You want your trip to be chill and easy going and you don't want to stress about things you don't have it's always good to have like pharmacies around you or grocery stores so those kind of things are also good to consider when looking for a place and as last point guys is simply as plan your days again if you're alone if you're going on a trip by yourself or if you're just a couple and you're going for a trip where you just want to visit stuff then you can most of the time like doing it spontaneously i would still recommend planning what 
kind of places you want to visit. You don't have to plan it out exactly which hour and which day and whatsoever. But it's always good to write down at least which places you want to have seen before you leave. But when you have kids and when you have established a routine like us with Gloriana, we schedule our things or what we plan around her nap time and bedtime. I hope you can hear me guys. Gloriana is eating and watching a movie. She's watching Encanto right now. She has her movie and snack time. If you heard my latest episode of my podcast, Mom Thinks, you'll hear our day in the life. And that's usually her time when she wakes up from a nap. And she has like a movie hour with snacks and stuff. She's such a cutie, like sitting in her little chair with her little table. See, Papa, meow, meow. Showing me her zebra, I have to show you that. It's so cute. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, but that's too cute. What I was saying is schedule your days. That's like the highest, best tip I can give you guys with your kids or without kids. I mean, you know, when you arrive, you know where you'll be staying at, you know what's around you, you know what you will need. If there's a day where you don't need certain equipment, you don't have to bring it with you. And uh, you can like enjoy your stay way more if you have planned it out. I know that sounds like kind of a mom thing or a parent thing. Screw this. It's way more important to you enjoy your stay the fullest than thinking about that it's boring to plan things and doing it spontaneously is way cooler. Like we were young, we didn't have kids and we still messed up some of our trips and they would have gone way better if we had planned them out in advance. That's everything I got for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> I know it probably was kind of boring to see all the footage with only my face on and not actual footage of us cube riding or anything cooler than that, but that was a weekend. And in our opinion, it was cool like seeing it the first time like this, but we could have enjoyed it way more if we did, if you would have gone through all those steps, I recommend you guys to do. Guys, if you want to see more vlogs and more travel vlogs, let me know in the comments down below. If you want me to bring you guys with us, we have an amazing trip coming up in two months, a big trip, and we have other little trips planned for those next two months, so enough rambling. Have an amazing day guys and I'll see you next time. Bye. Uh, mm. No libro.